Hey there, what's going on you guys? Kate McShay here and in today's video I am going to be giving you some tips on actually how to create a fan page and how to make it look professional, okay? So if you have not seen the first video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pop-up right now. You should be seeing it on your video. You can click that pop-up and actually go back and watch the first training video that I said, okay? Because it's essential for you to understand the overview that I went over in that first video in order to understand where I'm going with this video here, okay? So let's get right into it. We're gonna talk about creating a fan page so that you are not spamming your links, you are not uh, talking all about your business opportunity on your personal profile so that you annoy your family and friends and uh, then you end up getting frustrated because you're not getting any leads or sales into your, into your business. So what you're gonna do is here's your personal profile. You're gonna click right over here Okay, let's see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you. It might be helpful. Okay, so I'm going to click right here. And I already have a fan page created, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Create Page. Okay, if you already have a fan page created, what I will do is have a little pop-up to tell you where you can fast forward to in this video to then see the next piece. Okay, so let's go to Create Page. So then what you'll see is you'll see something like this. Okay, so you can choose dependent upon what you're selling, local business, if you're a company or organization, if you have a brand or a product that you market for, a cause or a community, entertainment, or if you're a public figure, business person, you're trying to brand yourself. What I'm going to do for the purpose of this video is I'm going to create a fan page here because most people, sorry about that, most people that are going to be watching this are trying to build a successful home business, okay? And believe it or not, people are not necessarily interested in your product. They are interested in joining you and seeing you as a leader. So when you create a fan page, you want to create it as something that you're able to do to brand yourself in a specific area, okay? So I'm going to click here, and it's going to tell me, um, choose a category, okay? Now, the two categories that I've had before our public figure and business person so you can choose either one dependent upon how you want to brand yourself ah uh, let's do business person today okay and then you have to name your fan page what I suggest highly highly suggest is you name your fan page your own name okay so mine is Kate McShay that fan page was already taken by someone else so I had to add our extra business online leadership pro onto it but let's just for the sake of this today do Katie McShay Okay, and if your name was Steve Jones, then you would put Steve Jones, and that's it. So, I agree to Facebook pages and terms. If you need to, you can click on that, read through it, just make sure you're aware of what you're allowed to do with regards to a fan page. I'm going to click Agree, and then I'm going to click Get Started. Okay? Oh, okay, so if up here it just looks like there was an error because of how my last name is spelt, so that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it down with an S like that for now just for the sake of the training because I'm taking you through step by step. Okay, we can click get started. So now I need to set up Katie McShay, okay? So about, what I can do is I can add a description about my the basic information that they're going to get on my fan page, okay? So let's say... Um, like, you know, this page will give you tips and tricks on how to be a successful home business owner by using social media, okay? Something like that. And then you can put down your website. Okay, so I'll just put www.onlineleadershippro.com. That's our blog. So you can always put your blog or if you have a website um, somewhere else that you could direct them to that could give them more information, okay? Uh, choose a unique Facebook addre web address, okay? So easy for people to find your page. So you have facebook.com, and then what you want to do here is you don't want to enter in something that's like TSY1245789. You want to name it something. So I would name it Katie McShay. Okay, if you can name it with your name, then that's perfect. It's nice and easy for people to be able to find. Okay, you can add other sites if you want. So I could add my YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash online leadership pro. I could add, um, you know, Twitter. I could add LinkedIn, whatever you want to add on there, okay? 
Is Katie McShay a real celebrity or a famous person? This will help people find the celebrity or famous person. So I'm going to put no because I'm not technically a celebrity in that area. Okay? So then I would click Save Info. Give me two seconds. Web address not available. You know, it's good that some of these things are popping up because um, it'll help you guys when it comes down to that kind of stuff. Let's try this. Let's just do YouTube and see, because it might just be my blog for some reason, the way I typed it up. Okay. Oh, it's my web address. Hold on. Oh, the web address is not available. Okay, so that means that somebody else has already taken it. So I could even do Katie McShay fan page. Okay? Click Save Info. So that worked. So it's kind of troubleshooting, all right? Making sure that you've done the right things. Um, and if something's not available, then sometimes it's going to happen if you have a similar name. Okay? Profile picture. So when you're uploading a profile picture, okay, you want something that people are going to be able to actually see your face and look somewhat professional. Okay? So you can import from a website, or if you have one on your computer, you can do that. Okay? So all you would do is upload, and let's say, you know, we've got you, you go from pictures or something like that. There's, there's a picture that you can use here, okay? So you have certain pictures. You just select a picture, you click open, and what it'll do, all right, you open it, and it'll upload right here into that place. So I'm going to hit skip for now. Then add to favorites, okay? So add your page to your favorites to easily access it at any time. So all that's saying is that on your profile, all you do is you add it to your favorites, okay? So it's there. So then you can you can actually quickly access it. You can see if somebody has updated something on there, okay? So all you would do is click Add to Favorites, and what it'll do on your profile is it'll actually pop up right here in your news feed, messages, and events. So I'm skipping these because it's something that obviously I'm not going to be utilizing this fan page. I just want to walk you through the steps. Reach more people. So when people like your page, you'll be able to reach them with posts in their news feed. So this is about promoting your page with an ad. We're not going to talk about that right now. Okay, that's something we can talk about later on. However, I highly suggest it because that's the way when you start out, you're going to actually be able to get laser targeted fans that are interested in what you have going on. Okay, so then I would hit skip. And here's the thing, my fan page is all set, all right? So this is for the people that are coming in now. Your fan page is all created, all set up, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to add a cover photo. Now, if you already have some some pictures or some photos of you or something that looks professional that you want, then that's awesome. The other recommendation I have is to do this, okay? Go to Fiverr. Dot com and type in Facebook cover photo. So I already tested that, so I went in there. And hit enter or search. And what you're going to find on Fiverr, so this means that it's going to cost five bucks for someone to create this for you, okay? You can start surfing around and looking at, I will create a, okay, I will create a professional Facebook timeline cover photo banner. All right, so I'm going to kick, I'm going to click on here. Just wait for my internet for a second. Okay, so what you'll be able to see is you'll see if the ratings are positive, you'll be able to see exactly what they do, okay? So there's extra things that they can do as well too, but right now all you're looking for is a professional cover photo, okay? So Fiverr is a great place if you type in Facebook timeline cover photo, professional you can always go back you can look at different ones as well too a lot of people have examples okay I'll do a Facebook cover photo <laughs> interesting one so read the descriptions before buying okay that there's different things and criteria that they have but if it's gonna cost you between five to ten bucks and it looks professional then why not do it the other suggestion I have is to go and look at other people's fan pages so again let me just go like this um, so if you were to look at mine, okay, we did this on Fiverr. We used a picture, we had my name written up, and we just kind of had a style that we liked. We had the colors that we liked. 
Um, and so that's what I asked them to do through Fiverr. Okay, so that's something that you can do. You just have your picture taken. Um, we took our my picture outside, nothing crazy, and then went from there. And so we edited and uploaded our profile, profile picture. So if I hop back over to this new page that I just created, just so you know, this is what you do. You just add a cover photo, okay? You're gonna pick a unique photo for the top of your uh, timeline. This isn't for like promotions or coupons, this is to brand you, okay? To tell people more about who you are um, and just kind of like make a statement, all right? Add a profile picture. So you can either take your own photo or you can upload a photo if you have one that you wanna use. So that's it, really right now was what I wanted to show you today. I wanted to show you how to create a fan page number one and then how to have some critical images in here in order to make sure that you sound and you look professional, okay? Uh, in the third video, we're gonna go more into the about section, okay, other, pl other places that you can add so people can access you on the internet, um, explain yourself, talk more about what you do, what value they'll get from coming to this fan page. So I will talk about that in the third video. But tomorrow, what I'm gonna be talking about is I'm going to be discussing with you different kinds of posts that you can do to help engage fans, okay? And how to invite people to your fan page so that you start getting some traction and getting some likes. So that is it for today. Hope you got some value. Hope that uh, this encourages you to create your own fan page. If so, comment below this video so that I know that you're taking action, which is awesome. And also, make sure that you are branding yourself. You are creating yourself as a leader in your home business. Because remember, people want to join you. And if you ever were to switch to another product or add another uh, company that you're gonna promote for into your business, you don't want your whole fan page to just revolve around one specific product or company, okay? And we'll talk more about posts that engage and kind of sprinkle your opportunity into your fan page tomorrow. So again, this is Kate McShay, take care, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow in tomorrow's next video.